Now, Iran has stopped expanding its nuclear facilities since Hassan Rouhani became president three months ago. That's confirmed in a new report from the International Atomic Energy Agency released during negotiations on Iran's nuclear program. However, the US Congress pushing for new sanctions against Tehran. The news doesn't necessarily mean progress in the talks. Artis Giyani Chikian reports. Right now, negotiations with Iran on a nuclear deal are at this very fragile stage with one big component missing, trust. Iranians don't trust the U.S. They've been duped before. Washington doesn't trust Iran when they say they're developing nuclear technology for civilian use and are not trying to build a bomb. The U.N. nuclear watchdog just released a report saying in the last three months, Iran has not expanded its nuclear facilities. It also said that Iran has also not begun operating any new generation centrifuges and that, quote, no major components had been installed at a reactor being built at Arak. This could be perceived as a confidence building step that Iran is taking to move forward with a deal on its nuclear program. The talks with six world powers in Geneva last week did not produce an agreement, as we know. But there is another round of talks coming up next week, and this new report by the IAEA may play a role. What will also play a role is what's happening here in Washington, and the U.S. Congress wants to pass a new round of sanctions. President Obama has urged Congress not to do that. He said if the U.S. is serious about using diplomacy to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons, there is no need to add new sanctions on top of sanctions already in place. So Congress can potentially undermine any chance there is for a deal, as well as entrench the Iranians in this view that whatever they do, Washington is not going to lift the sanctions and is not going to recognize their right to develop a nuclear program for civilian use. In Washington, I'm going to check out. Meanwhile, Israel seems to be using all its powers of persuasion in Washington to push for new sanctions on Iran. Gareth Porter, who's an investigative journalist and historian on U.S. national security policy, believes their lobbying will make that happen. I don't think a president's uh, statement or, or speech at this point is going to hold off uh, the members of Congress who are determined to go ahead with this move. I think the House is more likely to be responsive to uh, Israel's uh, urgings on this and uh, most likely to go ahead with, uh, with sanctions. This is the track record that uh, both the majority of the Senate and the majority of the House have compiled uh, in recent years, which is to say that they have been responsive whenever APAC, uh, the uh, lobbying organization uh, devoted to Israel's interests, has uh, put forward legislation 